And I feel like my heart is going to be regretting it in like a couple of months when I get like diabetes. But it was worth it, I guess. <laughs> hey guys, it's me. Hello, Chris. And it's my birthday again. Yay! This year, I'm turning 19 years old. But there's not much to it. Yeah, I'm 19, just another number more. I'm a year closer to death. But anyways, um, as you may or may not know, if you don't, just check on my channel. I basically have been posting a special video for my birthday for, I'd say, at least three years. And this year is not going to be the exception. As it's been a very, very, very crazy year, I thought, why not make it crazier? And so I did the giant cake cat. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this project for, I'd say, some very good nine years already. Mainly because I saw it on a YouTuber that I loved when I was very young. And I was like, oh geez, I need to try this because I love chocolate and I love Kit Kats. Hashtag not sponsored. And so I said, this is a chaotic year. So much has happened and we're in the middle of a global pandemic. How worse, how much worse can it get? So I decided that from this year, like I had to do it this year, there was no other year I could do it. And so I did it. And I regret it. I mean, yeah. So there's only two ingredients to make a giant Kit Kat and it's basically chocolate and waffles, those ice cream waffles. And yeah, that's it. You don't need anything else. Um, you will need a very huge stomach to digest it. Okay, so first things first, my sister and I melted the chocolate. I don't know how it's called in English, just leave it below, please. But basically we melted it on a pot with warm water and we put a bowl on it and then the chocolate inside because it is very easy to burn chocolate on the microwave. And it has happened to me before and I really didn't want to mess it up. I, really, I didn't want to waste food. So we did it this way, it was like pretty quick, so you don't have to worry about it. Once we melted the chocolate, we divided the waffles into like four sections because that was was going to fit in the pan. Because our, our initial idea was to only do like half a pan because we knew that it was too big and we wouldn't need it and it was like something that we would eat between two people. That was the original idea, but we couldn't manage to like divide the mold in half so we ended up just doing the huge thing and once we divided the waffles and we had the molten chocolate we started spreading chocolate in the waffles and it's super easy just be careful because you will get burned if you are not careful <laughs> but it's super easy to just spread it on and put another one on top and you just keep on layering them what I recommend you to do is that the last layer of the waffle, you cover it also in chocolate, mainly because if you put it downside and it sinks to the bottom, you really don't want to be seeing the waffle outside. So I recommend you to cover the top waffle also with chocolate, mainly because if it sinks to the bottom of the pan, you won't be seeing the waffle. So the recipe comes from this amazing lady from which I took the tip of the waffle. So once we had all the waffle chocolate towers made, so I covered the pan in parchment paper, baking paper, however you want to call it, mainly so the chocolate didn't stick to the pan. And once we had the chocolate already melted, I went ahead and spread a layer at the bottom. The thing is, it was a very thick layer I miscalculated, I put too much chocolate, I'd say, I put a whole bar of chocolate at the bottom. And once it dried, it's just like this very, very thick layer of chocolate. And then the waffles, and then a very thin layer of chocolate. So I'd recommend you to really calculate how much chocolate are you going to put in there. And then we melted more chocolate and we just covered the whole thing up and we let it dry, we let it cool down in the freezer slash cooler and by night it was already done I have lots of regrets 
recording this because I know I'm going to eat it alone. <laughs> and that's a lot of chocolate. It's like three bars of chocolate. I don't know how many calories that is, but that's not good <laughs> for my stomach nor myself. I wouldn't recommend doing it now that I've tried it, unless you are really eating it with lots of friends or you are making a very tiny version, then go ahead, be free my child, because I'm pretty sure that tinier versions are way fun, way more fun than that. I had fun and I'm going to be laughing this off for like many, many years to come. Like I would give it, I would give it a 5 out of 10, mainly because it's good. Like seriously, the waffles and chocolate are chef's kiss. So this was my 19th birthday special video. It is kind of a chaotic energy video, but it goes very well with the energy this year has given us, which is chaotic energy. So yeah, I'm just laughing at my mistakes because that's what I always do. And it's better to just laugh them off than cry them off. Uh, yeah, this was the 19th birthday special. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Give me your opinion into this idea. But I already told you, this is a very bad idea. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. And see you guys on my next video. Bye bye.